What is up everybody? My name's Sam and today we're gonna be talking about this RV park. So I am out here in Moab, Utah, one mile south actually, or maybe two, um, at a campground called Moab Rim RV Camp Park. Now, this campground is for basically anybody. They have RV sites, they have cabins, they have tent sites, they have electric water only sites, they have full hookup pull through sites. So it's pretty much got a little bit of everything. So no matter what kind of camper you are, this might be the place for you. But today we're gonna focus on the RV side of things because that's what we do, we RV. So let's start with the sites. So the sites are all gravel. So all the pull through sites are gravel and all the the electric water sites are gravel. Um, they're really nice, they're really level. I haven't had any issues with anything like that. They also have both picnic tables and fire pits at your campsite. The spots are wide, so there's no issue parking your truck. If you're like me and you have a fifth wheel, I park my truck at my site as well. There's plenty of space. There's plenty of space for the slide outs, plenty of space for just about anything that you need. Now, the only thing is, they are, there are still people directly next to you. There are still people, you know, one space over on either side of you. So if you are looking for that little bit more private campground, this might not be the one. There's few trees, but there are trees between sites. Now this campground has tons of amenities. It's got showers, it's got bathrooms, it's got a dishwashing station if you need to wash dishes. It has picnic tables and, and little overlooks looking out of this beautiful, beautiful landscape right behind me. Um, it also has a little store in the main shop. There's a store in there. And then on top of that, there's trash, recycle, and a dump station. So pretty much all the amenities you need, pretty average. There's also a playground in the front. If you do have kids, that might be useful for you. Um, but yeah, so it's got pretty much everything. I'm not looking for too much more in amenities. It doesn't go above and beyond, but it definitely meets everything that I really look for in a campground. So this campground is only two miles south of Moab. So Moab is a nice little town. It's a touristy town, but it's definitely nice. They have Jeep rentals there. They have like bars and coffee shops. It's, it's, a, it's a nice town. It's, it's got pretty much anything you need. It's got great cell coverage around here, which is excellent. If you have a mobile Wi-Fi like me, then you're, you're good to go in this area. And uh, the town is definitely touristy. It's definitely packed right now. It's, it's summer months and it's, it's nice out. It's been 90s this whole time I've been here. So it's just gorgeous out. Obviously the environment is gorgeous, but yeah, so the city is great and uh, it's definitely it definitely is beneficial It's only two miles south So you don't have to travel super far and the gas prices aren't super expensive or anything like that now Let's get to my favorite part about this park and that's that it is so close to two amazing national parks Arches National Park and Canyonland National Park. Now, Arches National Park is only about seven miles away from this campground, so it only takes about 10 or 15 minutes to get to the entrance of that, camp of that, uh, of that national park, which is awesome. It's amazing there. I love Arches National Park. I got the chance to hike a lot of the trails through there, and it's just amazing. There's something for everybody. There's hiking. There's beautiful rock formations everywhere, giant arches. There's Jeep and four-wheel trails all over, so people come from all over to see the Jeep trails and four-wheel trails that are in this area. So it's really, really great outdoor stuff. It's really beautiful landscape. You're not going to get something like this probably anywhere else. Um, you know, Utah is definitely special in that it's, it's got some beautiful national parks. And Canyonland National Park is 45 minutes away, which may seem a little far, but this is the perfect point to be really close to Arches and then still be able to go to Canyonland, make a day trip out of it, whatever you want to do. It's still, it's, it's definitely, definitely close enough to travel to. So awesome for the national parks. That's like the number one reason I'm out here. Probably the number one reason you're out here too. So yeah, we, we love national parks. So we love campgrounds that are close to them and we love paying low prices, which is my final point about this campground. So full hookup site like what I have is normally gonna run you $47 
per night, which to me is steep. I don't try, I try not to spend anywhere over $25. I try to keep it under $20 a night. But here's the catch. So if you have Passport America, you can have three nights here for half off. So that's $23.50 per night. That's what I'm doing. I'm spending three nights in this campground. Um, it's just like, you can't beat that. If you're not a Passport America member, it's not always 50% off. It's, it's sometimes they have stipulations, times of year and things like that. But when you get that deal, it's worth buying the membership just to st spend those three nights or whatever. It's $44 and then, you know, you save 60. So it's definitely worth it. You know, it's definitely it's definitely worth getting. I highly recommend getting that if you haven't already. But if you watch some of my other videos, like my five tips to save money while RVing, then I'm sure you already invested in it. And I'm sure you already did that, so I don't need to tell you twice. Or if you haven't, it's because you haven't ran into a campground that would save you just as much as the membership costs. So, now let's get into how I rate this park. So I am going to go ahead and give this park a eight out of 10 because it meets all of my criteria. It doesn't go like above and beyond, but you know, it has gravel, gravel spots, just like it's level. It's got all those good things. It doesn't have any knocks on it. It's, it's not tons of like extra stuff, but it's definitely, definitely got everything I need. So it's an eight out of 10 for me, especially because all these national parks right next to it, you can't beat this location. And that's what we all want when it comes to campgrounds in general, is we want the location. We don't wanna sit in the campground so it doesn't really matter what's at the campground as quite as much because we're worried about what's out in nature and let me tell you these hills these mountains these this red rock this sandy environment is just something else it's definitely worth coming out here if you haven't been you need to come so with that being said guys 8 out of 10. And until next time, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I put new videos out every Monday and Wednesday. So like this if you enjoyed, if it helped you out at all. And I'll see you guys next time.